Hi, good day, my everyone. Welcome back. I look a bit tired this morning, got up pretty early, just so we can get up and do a kimono photo shoot. This is a very popular thing to do while you're in Kyoto. What happens, we pay to get dressed up in kimono and get a whole photo shoot happening, so we'll be getting photos done around sites around Kyoto as well. Hope I look pretty for the photo, because I <laughs> look like in terrible shape now. <laughs> what do you think? Ah, <laughs> yeah. Very nice. It's a good you. Look at the hair done. <laughs> Look at that. It's very tight. Oh, it's such a nice place. Such a nice little neighborhood we here. I right, now we're at the next location for this photo shoot. I really enjoy this part of the town of Kyoto. This is really nice. It's really old. It's uh, a lot of old buildings. Pretty good day. I It's really, I really enjoy this part of the town. Like I don't know, like why Tiki didn't show us this place in the beginning. It's like they should have said, "Come here." This suburb is great. Photo's done. I mean, this is so good to be in my jacket again. That was cold. My God, just we're not having to wear nothing underneath that. I really enjoy that little suburb they took us to. It's really authentic Japanese little mm. town. It took us to little hidden places. Even a few places that were you were not allowed to take photos at all. So I think he had like to get he had a permit a permit yeah. to be able to do it. So we should go back there later. Yeah, we should. We should go back there later. And now we've reached the Golden Pavilion. A bit of a trek. We had to get the train up to what to a bus station. Then go from the bus station all the way here. Look at the tickets. Let's get in. About to reach the Golden Pavilion. Rule of thumb, guys, if you want the best picture to be taken, it's directly behind this guy here. This spot here. And it's full. <laughs> I don't know what we spent more money on. Gacha machines are that. <laughs> yeah, Golden Pavilion done. We got two things done today. Yay! Yay! Back to the hotel. Alright, came back from Golden Pavilion. Uh, as we were walking through Kyoto Station, there was, we discovered some more lunch options. So, and I was just, at first we said we're gonna try McDonald's because I heard that McDonald's in Japan is one of the best in the world. However, I found a few others. First, I got some uh, eel sushi. It's me 680 yen. Uh, let's see how this tastes. Hikimas. Tastes really nice. It's got it's got a fresh seafood taste. That little bar Japanese barbecue sauce they put onto it as well. I mean, I love having it back home, but here they just I don't know what it is like. Their seafood tastes so much better here. Like even in convenience stores and like little takeaway places, they just. I don't know what they do, but my god, food is always better here in Japan. Might even add some soy sauce to this. Oh, I thought this is not soy sauce, this is the barbecue sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna add more to this. Ooh. That's better. Adding more sauce to that was just made it. 20 times better. Now let's start some Japanese McDonald's. All together we've spent uh, 1,330 yen, which is like you know, 13, 14, maybe 15 dollars Australian. I know, I know we're in Japan, but you know, they say McDonald's is the best here. There you go, there's a Big Mac. I admit the, uh, the presentation on the Big Mac is actually much neater than what we get back home. Neat burger. I really like these like fall apart. It is Dakimas. It, it tastes clean, like it does taste like a normal Big Mac, but it's just like it's just presented better. At least they take good care of their food. And... I'm gonna try a chicken McNugget. Honestly, tastes the same. No difference. 
I'm gonna try the beef by itself. I pinched up a bit of the beef. It's okay. Yeah, you can start to taste the difference. It's much softer. The texture is the same. If you guys have eaten a Big Mac and just try the meat patty on its own, it has a very bland, like, cardboardy taste to it. And then you got all the condiments and lettuce that sort of just make it the rest. This, the meat on it actually does taste a little bit better. And you, you want to eat the Big Mac? Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Eat delicious. Yummy. Up next is a Japan exclusive McDonald's item, which is the, uh, Shaka Shaka Chicken. So it's pretty much is a piece of, uh, fried chicken. Super <laughs> bigger chicken McNugget. The reason they call it Shaka Shaka Chicken is to get you this little sachet of uh, cheddar cheese. You sprinkle into it and you shake it. Hence why it's Shaka Shaka. Because I think the term Shaka Shaka means shake shake in Japanese. Spill anywhere. Ooh, there we go. Seal up the bag. Shaka Shaka Shaka. There's the instruction at the back. Sprinkle, close, shaka shaka, open! Now, all the cheddar on the chicken. It's all flaky as well. See how this tastes. It's a deki mas. Wow. That's pretty good. I mean, the taste is, you know, it has a little bit of artificialness and it took where you get what you expect from a fast food place, but I like it. And that was good. That was something different. Like, um, it's pretty much powdered cheddar cheese on a chicken McNugget. You know, I'll try it out again. Next, uh, I also got a bento box as well, and these these ones look really good. This only cost me like a 1,000 yen, which is approximately 10, 12 Australian dollars. Ooh, look at this little packaging it's in. Ooh, look at the presentation in that. This is a um, could be a moist towelette. I think they gave me some seasoning as well here. Let's try this one out first. It's a pretty small like. This is how long they are. Looks like they probably just cut it short. It's not too bad. Pork is a little bit dry. I'm mean, going from chaka, going from shaka shaka chicken to this. It's kind of a chaka chaka chicken had so much flavour. Then I went to this. Well, yeah, I'll still eat it. And yeah, now on the last of our McDonald's menu, we got are they cinnamon rolls? Are they? Yeah. It's like cinnamon and. Well, you got some, what do you call it, pastry? And it's really warm as well. One in the middle, oh, look at that. I think this is another Japanese exclusive item as well. Wow. It's really hot and sweet. Man, that's a... Oh, Rach, I might even eat these all. I love this. Covered in this, like, cinnamon and, I think, chocolate sauce. And... Hey, Mew, do you want some? Yeah, I want some. Here you go, Mew. Nom 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 nom. Super oishi, delicious.